Is she worth summoning and what is my thought about her in the current arena meta? First, let's rewind for a bit and learn about her skills. As you might have already know, Murphy's main enemy is O4, and to me the main problem wasn't O4 follow-up attack, but rather the AP cut. You see, O4 can cut the AP push her enemies take by a huge percent, and it is even worse if your Murphy lost the 50-50 hit and got her own AP repelled by O4. No, Murphy S2 will push her own AP, grants herself a shield and stealth after your ally uses a non-attacking skill. And a modern problem requires a modern solution. So no, you don't need Timmy, Clarice, or yada yada. All you need is just Glycine. When O4 hit your team with Glycine in it, after the hit, Glycine will trigger a non-attacking skill that heals your allies. Thanks to that, it also triggers O4 follow-up attack, meaning more PS2 and the buffs you will get can go safely right after that. Glycine is basically the perfect bait for O4 and has the best team synchronization with Murphy. But the problem is, I don't know how big the epic cut Murphy will get. Because as you can see, Glycine doesn't seem to be affected by O4 epic cut despite her. And I don't have Murphy to test it myself either. This is a huge problem because Murphy best speed is slow, so she's really reliant on her S2 passive to get her first turn. But you can also use Mika Orb on your tank or use Mika herself to help your Murphy with that. It definitely solves the main problem about Murphy S2. Now moving to her S3, it is an AoE attack that can dispel one buff, plus an extra chance to dispel one other buff before a chance to stun the enemy for one turn. Stun Stun in arena is really great, and surely Murphy's stun isn't a 100% chance, but don't forget that her S3 also repels the enemy's AP. The great part? She's a tactical class, meaning you can also use Isabel Orb to get more hit chance, or you can use Kagari Orb for faster loop. Why you want to loop or get Murphy's turn faster? Because her S1 when her S3 is on cooldown will get enhanced. Her S1 will hit all enemies instead of doing an ST hit, and it has a 50% chance at plus 4 upgrade to inflict death break to the enemy and repel their action bar by a certain percent. So it is extremely good especially if you pair her with Kagari Orb. If you ask me what my thoughts are about her, then I can only answer with with the right team setup, she can be an annoying unit to deal with in arena. Even more so, assuming if O4 Epicot also treats Murphy the way it treats Glycine. Now, is she worth summoning? The timing is just really unfortunate, so my answer will be no. The reason is because Supernova Rela banner is likely already somewhere around the corner, so we can't waste our resources on a regular unit. It is just really sad because to me, her kits are really good because I know how to use her. The stun and dispel will help in dealing with JCO for Sylvia meta. 